Eric, how you doing? Pretty good, Todd. What we want to do today is take a look at some normal motion patterns. I'm going to have you do a three normal. normal. We're going to give it a shot. So we want you to do three step tests for okay. me. These are real simple, very straightforward. With your right foot, I want you to step forward and then back to start. Good. And again, and a little bit bigger excursion. Ultimately, go as far as you can go without falling over. Okay, one more. Good. Now go ahead and try the same thing with your left side. And again. Good. Now, second test I want you to do is you have to just turn sideways a little bit with your left, I'm uh, sorry, sideways facing that way. With your left foot, let me get out of the way before you do this. I want you to do the same idea, stepping sideways and then back. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we get over here. And just increase the... Increase the range. Step sideways and come back. Now turn and face the camera, if you would. There you go. And step sideways this way. There you go. And back. That's it. And sideways. And back. And sideways. And back. Now uh, walk over this way a little bit. And step sideways the other way. And back. And sideways. And back. And sideways. Very good. Now rotational step. Give yourself a little bit of room. What I want you to do with your with your right foot, step around in a circle to your left and then around as far behind as you can. No blowing up the ACL up. No promises. Alright, around. And so around. I touch toe in the back? Yeah. And as far around as you can. Good. Alright. Okay, and now switch and do the other side. motion occurs in three planes. Sagittal plane moving forward and back, coronal or frontal plane moving side to side, and horizontal plane where we move in rotational patterns. Or not. Or not, <laughs> particularly that horizontal plane. What we're going to talk about as we move on are, is a real simple paradigm to take these three simple step tests as an initial part of a basic assessment to allow uh, trainers and physical therapists to better assess what normal human motion is and then how to design programs based on these findings so that we can keep clients getting better faster and prevent them from getting hurt. Sounds good. That's all, all right. our goals. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Don. Let's let it run for just a second, Todd. All Maybe right. We're going to attack a couple of minutes on this one. Well, it's going to attack on the overhead squat to this since all right. it's kind of on the same reel. Now, as long as we've got that overhead squat going a couple of times, what's going to be interesting to correlate is go ahead and turn 90 degrees. That's my good sign. <laughs> That's it. That's good. I'll give me the old posterior view. Which was your best sign, you said? Yeah. <laughs> it's a camera, it's all, you know. In person, I look great. And what I like to do sometimes on top of that is then tack on a single leg squat. All right, let's let's do it. So I could do it without falling over; it just won't look pretty. Let me step back so my foot's in the camera. There we go. And for you guys watching at home, I wonder how many similarities you can see in the movement between a step excursion, two-legged bilateral movement, and a single leg exercise. And if you can see an asymmetry left to right. And we'll probably stop the video and then kind of talk about what we see from there. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Awesome. Good, great starting place. Take care. Oh, we missed on that one. Uh, All right. We'll edit that one out.